for the student athletes first. For whoever wants it, guys, after Marquette, coach talked about toughness and what was missing. And what did you find here in the last few minutes of this game that maybe you didn't find a couple weeks ago and needed to find eventually? Um, I think we always had it. It just, yeah. that was just on us. Um, we just had to come together as a team. I think we were playing a little too uh, lax. Uh, you know, as a team mindset, we were very comfortable. Um, and when you always have a target on your back, you always have to have an edge on your shoulder. So I think we, you know, we got together as a team and talked it over. And, you know, just because you, you know, ranked or a top team or, you know, playing against top teams, like, you're always going to have a target just because of the culture and what Purdue has done. Um, so we just wanted to, we came together and we told each other we got to have that toughness. Um, and then it started in practice. You know, practices should always be harder than the game. So we, our practices got a lot more intense and I think it's carrying over. Eric is part of that, stepping up to the free throw line and like in game situations and, and hitting, hitting free throws when, when, it, when they count. Uh, yeah, I mean, Coach always talks about being uh, physically tough and mentally tough. And um, I think just the, the free throws at the end is all about mental. Um, you know, you got the crowd yelling. You got the ops team, they want you to miss. And, you know, you want to win a game. And uh, just got to be mentally tough to close it out. How much did you guys need a a game like this or get the close game and, and pull it out at the end? Um, um, I mean, we all, I mean, we talked about all week how we, this is the game that we we, uh, we really needed. Um, just just kind of like to build our resume. Cause our goal is to go to the NCAA tournament and um, get the best seat possible. And this is kind of just a resume game for us. Uh, for Eric, how come how come half court offense was such tough sledding there in the first half? What were they doing that was problematic, and what did you do to overcome it? I guess. Um, I mean, I think it was just us settling into the game. Um, I, I mean, we practice. I mean, we practice against kind of trying to role play the uh, the pressure and the, the double teaming. But right. I mean, it's different when you get to play the actual team and playing. And um, I think we just we just had to settle in and uh, just calm down a little bit. <laughs> Todd, to play those last few minutes without Travion or or Matt, what what were the keys to getting through getting through that stretch with you know your two your two biggest big guys? Um, and just toughness, um, relying on each other, getting stops on defense, and then just executing on the offensive end. Um, we knew we were going to need every one of us to you know complete the game, uh, come out with a victory, and everything. So. I think it was just, you know, about us being tough. Um, like he said, mentally and physically, you know, because, um, I mean, you didn't shoot the best and everything else, but, you know, you get stops, make your foul shots at the end, then you can win the game. What's it mean to have gotten the minutes you got from Boudreaux tonight? Um, I think it was big. Uh, I mean, I had full confidence in him with both, mm -hmm. the, both Matt and Trey. Tied out. I mean, been, this is my second year playing with us. He's obviously a good player, and I mean, I, I mean, I expect no drop off. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks, folks. Oh. Just take questions for the panel now. Matt, did you learn anything about your team tonight? Them being able to win as ugly as they. We're able to win. <laughs> well, obviously BCU is a, you know, a really good team, and you know they they force you um, the way they fight for every single pass. Mm -hmm. and so like it's, it's tough to get into offense. It's tough to to run some things. I, I thought we got some good looks at the basket, especially to start the right. game. You know, we were around the rim. You know, we miss a tip dunk. We miss a driving layup. We miss two driving layups. Um, we're point blank at the rim a handful of times. We only had one basket, and so. Um, you know, you, you have to make them pay. Mm -hmm. I think they took the press off because we were getting some pretty good looks, and uh, even though we weren't making some of them, we still were generating some things. But you know, they they turn people over a lot, and um, you know, I'm not excited about 18 turnovers, but it could be worse. And uh, you know, they're they're a really good team, and uh, you know, for us to be able just to get into a possession game and, and being able to find a way to win, um, very fortunate. You know, we we had some opportunities to. 
to extend our lead the one time we kind of got up five or six and we just didn't do it. We missed the front end of a one and one. We missed a layup. We missed wide open threes. Uh, but they can look at the game the same way and say the same thing. Right. You know, they, they had some looks and some opportunities to free throw line they like to have back. But um, I like our effort. You know, we out rebounded them by eight. We had three fewer turnovers. And so when it gets down to a game like this and you have 11 more possessions, it ends up being the difference. Talked after the Texas and Marquette game just about having the fight. Right. And what what did your team show you in yeah. those last five minutes about well, having that fight? We, we had a good fight, and um, I thought from a defensive standpoint, we did some really good things. I was really impressed with Marcus Evans. You know, I'm watching him on film and just the, the, the shots he makes and the tough shots that he makes. And, you know, we wanted to get into him and take up a space and not allow him to dribble and make plays. And, um, you know, I, I thought those guys did a really good job. I thought Eric and no gel really did a good job guarding him and also guarding Jenkins. You know, Jenkins is a very experienced player. Just don't let him get opportunities. Just make it hard on him to get good looks at the basket. And um, obviously Santos got away from us. But no, just proud of our guys, you know, to be able to grind it out. We've had some good stretches defensively. Offensively, we do good things and we don't reward ourselves. You know, we miss free throws, we miss layups, we miss open threes. You know, we just got to keep working uh, to be more efficient on the offensive end. Coach, looking ahead to tomorrow, what do you expect uh, with Florida State? Um, a lot of the same. You know, they, they don't let you catch the basketball where you want it. They, they make it hard on you. They're very physical. Um, they pressure the basketball. They hawk it. Um, they get after Coach Ham does a great job. And so, obviously, last year we played them at their place, and we had a terrible first half, and a lot had to do with Florida State, and us trying to adjust to, to all the things I just mentioned. And then we had a really good second half, and we're in a position at the end of the game where they're fouling. And, um, uh, we get a call go against us, and it could have, you know, the game could have went either way. I think Forrest made the play at the end on the run. But uh, they're good, well coached, tough, hard nosed, and it's going to be a tough challenge for us. How about playing these kind of games this time of year, and what it means to you as you, you know, head towards your big ten. Oh, it's great! It's great. You find out about your, you know, it's real problems. You know, it's not beating somebody by 35 points on your home court. You know, you, you go somewhere and people say, oh, your offense didn't look good. You know, Virginia Commonwealth's pretty good. You know, Tennessee's pretty good. Florida State's pretty good. It lets you know, hey, we got some work to do in these areas because they're just not going to let you do whatever they want. So these are, um, you know, they talked about resume building type games, but, you know, everything's either a really good win or a bad loss. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of in between. But if you can win these games in, on a neutral court, you know, it's really going to help you um, come tournament time. If you can make it, if you can get the tournament. Just the, the job Trayvon did on the offensive end to keep your offense kind of afloat there for, for a little bit. Yeah, you know, Travion's a, you know, he's a load. He's a, he's a guy that, you know, he gets 10 and 7 um, in, you know, 17 minutes. Like to have him on the court more. Um, Got to do other things. You know, if he does other things to go on top of what those numbers right there, it's really going to help him and really going to help us. But, um, you know, he, he's, he's tough to handle. And uh, just got to keep plugging, keep working. And, um, you know, more than anything, I thought, you know, Evan Boudreaux there, when he, comes in and makes four free throws in something small, but you know, he gets five rebounds and then at the end makes a good defensive play showing his hands after he got a tough call to go against him at the end. You know, they had just called um, us lowering the boom on them and then it seemed like it was a pretty similar call at the other end and he was the primary defender and he was underneath the arc, so I, I didn't understand the call. Um, but, you know, I think Evan did a good job of showing his hands and making that play and jarring that ball loose. You know, that, that might have been the play of the game. What about the minutes you got from Isaiah, too? Obviously, this is not an easy opponent for a freshman. Yeah, he did well. You know, he you know, had a couple turnovers, you know, had a couple moments there. You know, he'd like to have back. But to be able to come in and give us 15 minutes and knock down a couple threes and handle the basketball um, against those guys, um, you know, that was huge. You know, I, I thought we had good production and good effort from our bench.